greeted with a big celebration in heaven. Tomorrow will mark two years since the gruesome Max attack that left two dead. Tonight, those who lost their lives were remembered by loved ones who continued their fight against intolerance. This is Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Valina Jones. Jeremy Christian was accused of threatening two Muslim girls as they rode the train. When three men stepped in to stop him, police say he stabbed them. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling was at a presentation honoring them tonight. She joins us live with the details. Jennifer. Hey, Valina, it's hard to believe it's been nearly two years since that tragic day. The Muslim Educational Trust hosted a program tonight in order to bring people together and to honor those who bravely gave their lives. And what's really come to me strongly is that there needs to be a voice for love. That was the message that Asha Deliverance wanted to give on the second anniversary of the Max attack that killed her son, Talija Namkai Meche. My, um, my purpose here is just to remind them because my son, he died saying, tell everyone on the train I love them. That was for real. He meant that. Police say Jeremy Christian stabbed and killed Talesian, along with veteran Ricky Best. Only Micah Fletcher survived his injuries. For Muslims, we believe that through something tragic and something terrible, God, Allah, gives us an opportunity to create something meaningful and transformative. The Muslim Educational Trust gathered people of all faiths together to remember their sacrifice. We want everyone to see that though there are acts of violence uh, and the tragedy that comes from it, there's also great humanity and compassion. Duad says Islamophobia has been on the rise in the last three years, with the FBI tracking at least 3,000 incidents reported nationwide, including assaults and arson. We, we still see those things, but on the other hand, we also see so many community partners, members that aren't affiliated with anybody who want to be part of the solution. Michael Fletcher's dad also spoke, reading a letter he wrote about the attack. Because I love all of you, and I want all of us to be better. Asha says she'll keep spreading the message of love. Well, I don't feel like my son is gone. His, uh, his presence in my life is almost brilliant like the sun. Um, he has so much love, and he's just really pouring love out to everybody. Asha tells us that she is disappointed that Jeremy Christian's trial has been delayed. It was supposed to start in late June. It now won't start until next year. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Jennifer.